In the January 1999 edition of Pick Tips Newsletter, edited by Guy DeViles, he received a story from uh, Tony D'Andrea, owner of the D'Andrea Guitar Pick Company at the time, that Tony's uncle Victor had stumbled upon a uh, strips of celluloid on Long Island at the Fairchild Camera Company warehouse. And he bought these strips and he made the first uh, blue Wabash picks out of them. And he indicated that the uh, photographic film had a blue coating on them and that when they were tumbled, tumbled meaning that the uh, pick was placed in these bins that has various grades of material to wear down the edges. And usually that's, there's no issue there. It smooths them out so it doesn't have to be done by hand as we've talked about in previous videos. But anyway, when they're tumbled during this process, he said the blue coating were off at the edges. And they went on to buy some more of this stuff in uh, apparently other colors, but they standardized it with the blue and made many, uh, fair, many Wabash picks out of it. However, they apparently made a lot of other picks out of it that were not Wabash picks. Uh, we see how the standard Wabash pick, even though this is not a Wabash, we'll see the Wabash when we get to that video. We see how the, uh, the edges of it there are, in fact, have the color worn off. And the same is true for all these other ones as well. Now, he doesn't say what the other colors were or how they got there. But many have wondered and speculated that obviously these colors were the result of uh, the, either the film itself or it was used and they actually took uh, photographs of stuff out of them. We really don't know. But the end result, regardless of how they came to be, was that we end up with this colorful group of pics here in at least 10 uh, different shapes and a uh, few interesting features. Some of these picks were made with corrugation, as seen there. Others even have a store logo, Pavlov Music, and you could take a look at that. That's an old block style logo used from the 60s. And some were made into foamy grip picks, such as this one here. And once again, you could see the edges are in fact, worn off on that. But many colors here, they are pretty rough to come by, but they're certainly an interesting addition to anyone's expanding collection of vintage picks. All made from Fairchild Camera Company celluloid. Wow. Anyway, uh, another interesting tidbit. Don't want to spend too much time on it, but uh, I certainly enjoy them as a portion of my collection, and I'm sure you will eventually too. Thank you. Joe Macy, find pick seven at yahoo.com, or feel free to leave a comment here on YouTube as well. Take care.